in today's video we are going to discuss about how we can use sharepoint online quick chart web part to display various charts this is basically a out of box web part which is available on the sharepoint online modern site not in the classic sharepoint sites and also i'll show you how we can add that page into the microsoft teams tab so that your teams users can see the chat also now basically we will try to create two uh, charts over here in fact in the uh, quick chart web part this is the two, two options are available uh, one is the pie chart and the other one is the column chart so in the right side one you can see here this is the column chart and the left side one is the pie chart this is what we are going to create in the sharepoint online modern site now if you are new to the channel uh, my name is Vijay and I'm a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel uh, do subscribe it and you will get a lot of free videos on SharePoint, SPFX, Office 365, Power Platform all these videos you will get it now let me open the uh, SharePoint site you can see here this is a SharePoint site and uh, we will create a page first so I'll click simply on new and then you can see page here I'll create uh, I will create a blank page so I'll select this option and then click on create page so we can give a name for it suppose I will say a uh, quick chat web part uh, demo something like that and uh, next what we can do here is uh, by default there will be a section will be there there will be only a text uh, you can simply delete it so I'll just delete that section and I'll click over here and then uh, we'll do a two column layout or one column layout choice is yours let's do a one column layout and on this uh, simply click over here and search for quick uh, and you will get the quick chart you can see here click over here and uh, uh, now you can configure this chart web part for example i will give the name suppose i will say sharepoint training courses and uh, then you can see here click on this edit web part icon which will open the properties so you can you can see here just click over here and you have the two options here as i said column chart and pie chart so again the, as the name suggests you can display a chart quickly uh, but you will not get all this lot of configuration options uh, so and you can select one so first we'll select the column chart and uh, then you can see here enter data two options you have either you can enter the data hard coded data so every time you want to change it you have to come here edit the page and edit this web part um, uh, with your updated data that is the one thing you can do and the other one is you can see here it is allowing us where you can select the data or you can pick the data from a SharePoint list I will show you that option later so first one enter data and here we will uh, uh, have the data label and the value so make sure the first one will be text and the second one will be a number or currency format so i will let's say i will say sharepoint development uh, training and here i'll put a, a number here value here so you can see here i put this one and it is it will allow you to add up to 12 uh, this data value uh, uh, you know uh, pair so just click on add once again and then I will add here say, SPFX let's say development training and I will put a uh, course P over here you can see this way you can add so let me add a couple of uh, more options and then I'll be back so as you can see here I have added this six item you can if you scroll up you can see all this so I have added all this and then uh, you can see here the layout so it is asking us for horizontal axis and then the vertical so the value will come in the vertical uh, so I will say uh, let's say I'll say price and this one I will say a uh, training course suppose I will do like this so you can see here once you add this here price is coming and here training course is coming now this is how we can there is not much configuration options are there but up to 12 you can add it so i have added these things and now you can simply close it and if you publish it you can see the web part so you can see this is this is the web part this is how it is appearing um, you can add into two sections so that it will look little small but anyway you can add up to 12 items and here i have added only six 
so this is one option where you can uh, where you can uh, display it by adding or uh, you're entering the value manually the other way is we can uh, um, we can get this data from a sharepoint list now before going to that uh, you if you are uh, you, if you want to learn sharepoint development then i have a sharepoint development training course you can see here also i have training courses for sharepoint site owners uh, you can see everything is there module wise everything it's a complete training course package having more than 60 hours of videos are there you can i'll put the link in the video description and you can have a look at this now coming back to this i have a, a list now you can see training courses uh, this is a list and it has two columns one is training course name which is a text column and the other one is a price column now uh, uh, either it can be a price column or it can be a number column though if those two columns are there then it will allow you to create the charts i'll go to the same page uh, let me go to the pages and uh, this is the page basically where we have added this chart so i'll click on edit you can see here edit icon i'll scroll down and you, you can click over here and then we'll add another web part you can see quick chart and this time what we will do is we will get the data from a sharepoint list apart from that we will select also pie chart here so i'll select this the second one you can see here i will select select the second uh, radio button which is saying get data from a sharepoint uh, list on this site remember the list should be presented in this site uh, it cannot be from an another site uh, if it, it will be there then it, it, the list will not be displayed and then the other thing is uh, for the SharePoint list there can have uh, 50 data points so that means you should have you can display charts from 50 items and I will you can see here it is allowing me to select the list so training courses is my list and uh, the other one is uh, then it is showing that column that has the data to display and the second one is horizontal category access which is the label so the first one you will see here it is displaying the uh, in fact this is the currency column so either it will display all the columns which are of type currency or number so in this case i have one column which is of uh, uh, which is of type currency so you can see uh, the course price i'll select this the second one is the title uh, basically this is the internal name and once you select this you can see these are the options or this is how your uh, chart will come i will simply click on republish you can see now this is our chart and this is a pie chart where the data is coming from a sharepoint online list so not much configuration options we have but this way we can be able to display quick charts in a sharepoint online modern page again this will not work for classic sharepoint sites okay so our charts are uh, there in this page now let us see how we can add this into the microsoft teams as i said so i will simply copy this and i will open uh, the microsoft teams you can see here um, this is my microsoft teams it is installed locally in in my desktop and uh, i am going to this team and you can see here simply come here click on this particular tab uh, to add a tab and here it will populate all the services so select sharepoint you can see here first one is sharepoint so once you add sharepoint then you can see here it is showing you uh, this page where you can uh, you know select uh, the uh, list or pages um, apart from that you can see here there is an option which is saying add page or list from any sharepoint site so click over there put this url and click over uh, save i'll simply uncheck this to put this uh, thing in the channel so i'll click on save so once you click on save you can see here um, the page will now appear here and you'll be able to see the charts in this page in, in your microsoft tab, microsoft teams in a Azure tab so this is how we can display this chart in microsoft teams as well so i will click i have already written a complete blog post on the same and if you want i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at that so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel as i said you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 power platform and your spfx development as well thank you and have a nice day